Traditional 3D printing happens layer by layer, but some researchers think there must be a better way. If you go to get a CT scan, a 3D object is imaged, like the body, by projecting x-rays from many, many different angles through the body and then reconstructing what is inside the body. So we thought, well, let's just reverse that idea to create objects instead of imaging them. Researchers at the University of Berkeley, California and Lawrence Livermore National Lab have invented a new method of 3D printing called computed axiolithography. By using a video projector to shine rays on a light sensitive material that slowly rotates, the material absorbs energy and turns into a solid. It took just a few minutes to print this tiny replica of the famous sculpture, The Thinker. The technology has been used to print more than 30 different objects, ranging from about 0.2 millimeters to up to 10 centimeters. Theoretically, it could be used to print much larger objects. It's already been used to print objects in a very revolutionary way. Because we are printing the entire volume of the object at once, we can print an object around another pre-existing object. So we showed a screwdriver handle that we had printed around a pre-existing steel shaft. You could think of that principle being used to enable greater mass customization of consumer products. Uh, for example, customized grips on sporting equipment, uh, better tools, safer tools, even potentially uh, prosthetic devices. We think of the replicator machine in Star Trek. Water, cold. Turning science fiction into reality takes a lot of math, according to the researcher who devised the computations that drive the printing process. It's summing up the dose, the energy that you deliver from each of the angles together in order to produce the 3D object. So in our computation, we model that. We model how exactly the videos are summing up over multiple angles to produce the 3D energy distribution. Printing an object all at once means it can do things other 3D printers can't, like creating this ball inside a cage. While it's still early days, researchers believe their technology holds great promise for industry. It can print on a wider range of substances, meaning it may someday produce sturdier mechanical parts, while also creating delicate, flexible materials that simulate biological tissue. Mark New, CGTN, Berkeley, California.